What's going on everybody? Here to give you another tutorial with the Xbox 360 console and the BenQ DVD disk drive. I'm going to show you how to swap it out for a new one. Um, this is for if you went ahead and bought a whole separate drive and you're going to be replacing it. Um, got a lot of requests or people saying, you know, um, after they've replaced a drive it doesn't work or it doesn't play games and that's because there's a few little tricks you have to know about it. Um, I will go ahead and say that this one is just going to be straight up swapping the old one for the new one. Uh, there is one other way and uh, that's called flashing. Um, the one benefit to flashing is that you can you don't have to like for this method uh, with this bin Q drive uh, you have to buy a bin Q replacement um, but with flashing you can replace it with any of the Xbox 360 drives uh, for the Xbox 360 fat anyways um, but that takes a lot of work to flash it takes a lot of research and it's not as simple as a lot of people hope it is uh, and you can end up doing a lot of damage and screwing up your entire console now with the BenQ drive, it's not as simple as the Samsung or Hitachi um, because you will need a soldering iron in order to do this. Um, and the reason that is is because uh, the trick that you have to know when you switch these out is that uh, you have to take the PCB, which is short for printed circuit board, you have to take that printed circuit board out of your old drive and uh, install it into the new drive. Uh, there's a unique key in each one of those that's um, matches the motherboard and so you have to have that match in order for it to play games. Um, with the BenQ and the light on you do have to have some soldering because all the motors are not attached with ribbons they're attached with either a ribbon or they're just wires directly soldered to the disk drive. Now I will say this you will need a Phillips head, little Phillips head screwdriver that's mainly just to take off the outer case if you're not sure how to get to this point where it's already opened, I'm going to put a link in the description to another tutorial that will show you how to pop this bad boy open, and then you can come back to this tutorial when you're finished with that. Okay, so first things first, we're just going to kind of slide this out. And there's two cables. We're going to just kind of unplug those out of the back. We're going to set the rest of the console aside, and we're going to flip your uh, BenQ drive over. Now there's four screws. You're going to take out each of these screws. Uh, something else I will say while I'm unscrewing this, I'm not actually going to be replacing this drive. This drive actually works perfect. So I don't want to go and desolder everything and then have to solder it all back after uh, just to save myself a little bit of effort. Uh, so you will have to do uh, a little bit of pretending with me like I am replacing it with another drive. Alright, so we got that out. Let me pop this case off. Pop that top piece off. Okay, now, if you look closely, all these little places are where the wires for motors and stuff like that are all soldered right onto it. Uh, it's, instead of it being a ribbon like this, it's soldered on. And so that's exactly why you have to do this. Um, so, like I said, since I'm not switching this out, I'm just going to show you basically what to do and uh, then solder everything back on. Um, so what we're going to do first is uh, we're going to remove the laser ribbon and the worm motor ribbon. And how you do that is there's this little brown clip here. You're going to slide that out on both of these. Okay. Now there's two clips on either side right here. And you have to pull them both outwards like this. So you pull both of them out and pull the board up at the same time. As you see, my worm motor already popped out. The laser ribbon is probably kind of glued, so I'm going to kind of just work that out like that. And now those are detached. Now, this is your old drive. So the first thing you want to do with your old drive is go ahead and just desolder everything. Just Go ahead and melt everything and take all these wires completely out of here. Okay, so uh, then you'll just be left with your old PCB board. Um, so this is where you're going to have to do some imagining, okay? We're going to pretend like, bada boom, 
this is a new drive. This is the new drive now that you just bought. And you're going to be holding the old PCB board about right here, or the one that's going to go into the new drive. Okay? So what what we got to do here is, as you can see, there's a lot of wires, and there's only there's a bunch of white ones and a bunch of red and black ones all side by side. So you don't want to get those mixed up. The way to do this is, first I've got my soldering iron. I'm gonna get some solder on it. You don't have to put much on these. These actually melt pretty easy. Now, what you're gonna do is you'll desolder. Remember, this is the new drive now. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure. We don't get mixed up. And uh, we're going to pretend like your old drive's PCB board is sitting right about here. So what we're going to do is we're going to desolder one wire at a time. Alright? So we're going to start with this first white wire on the very right hand side. We're going to put that on there and pull it off. Now, what we do next is we're going to take the old P the PCB board that from your old drive and we're going to hold it right here. Okay? and then we're going to solder the wire we just took off of this one onto the exact same place of the old one. Okay? That way, okay, so this one's going to be soldered onto the other PCB board, and then when that's done, you're going to come back, you're going to desolder the one next to it, and solder it on the same place, on the old one, and you're just going to go across the line and do it like that. Okay? One at a time, because if you screw that up and you get them mixed up, not only can you short circuit something, but you'll have to go completely back and redo everything. Um, and you may not even know where your problem is, and you may have fried the whole new drive. So that's the best way that I know to teach beginners to do it, um, is just to do one wire at a time and solder it on the old board of your old drive one wire at a time. It seems a little more complicated. Uh, than it needs to be, but believe me, if you get a wire mi mixed up, which I did when I first started this, you will hate yourself for it later. Alright, so I'm going to solder this one back on that I showed you, just like this. Okay, and now we're going to pretend like we've already done that swap. Um, this is now the, this is the new disk drive with your old disk drive PCB board laying in it, okay? I probably said that too many times, but I just want to make sure that we're clear since I wasn't actually replacing it with the second one and having it right here next to it like you'll be doing. So we've got that in. What we're going to do now is we're going to slip the worm motor in here, and we're going to slip that ribbon back in there. All right. Give it a little tug after you got that clip and you put it back in there and locked it in. If it doesn't just fall out with a little tug, then it's it's locked in. Now you're going to take the uh, laser ribbon. You do the same thing. You're just going to get it slid in there, and you're going to lock that little brown lock in place. And then give it a little tug. Same deal. Now you're just going to pop it back in there in those two little clamps, and uh, start installing the case back. Sorry about that, guys. There's going to be a little cut there. Um, my uh, camera died out right there at the end of that of this tutorial. Um, all I was really doing there at the end was putting the case back together and putting it back in. I'm sure, pretty sure you can figure that out. You just got to put the four screws in and plug the cables back in, and you're pretty much done. Um, so I hope this tutorial helped. I hope it wasn't too complicated because I wasn't using another drive like you would be using um, but make sure to comment or even send me a message if you have any other questions if it wasn't quite clear enough I'll be happy to answer them for you and uh, you can also subscribe I've got a lot of repair tutorials a lot of case modding tutorials uh, a lot of stuff around video game consoles so anyways guys until next time